I'm Dwayne Ross of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. The reading for Tuesday, March 31st, Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. And you were made alive when you were dead, through the trespasses and sins in which you were once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience. Among these we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, following the desires of body and mind. So we were by nature children of wrath, like the rest of mankind. But God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he lived, loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. And raised us up with him and made us sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in the coming ages he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God, not because of works, lest any man should boast, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, that we should walk in them. The word of the Lord. Simple gifts. This is not your own doing, it is the gift of God. First aid. My car repairs took longer than expected, so I was given a brand new rental, heated steering wheel, automatic headlights, sensors for parking. I should have loved driving this fancy car, but I hated how complicated it was. Every time I drove, a new sensor lit up, critiquing my driving. Once, an outline of a steaming cup of coffee appeared on my dashboard along with the words, erratic driving detected, rest required. Was the car judging me or telling me? I needed to take a nap or drink some coffee. Being a good person and earning our way to God's love sounds simple. Do good, avoid bad. But we know life is complicated. We all make mistakes all the time. We cannot earn God's love by driving better, praying more, or sinning less. We are flawed, and we are beloved. The great, wide, deep love of God is ours as a gift, given freely and joyfully. We may try to complicate that love, but it is as simple as that. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, for your free gift of life forever with you. We pray in your holy name. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.